Okay, one things I want you to start with here is everything in the grip stance and setup, in my opinion, as a whole, looks pretty good. One of the one of the other things I've noticed that you've done is your right hand's getting farther down. You're not quite so hiked up. Okay, so that's crept in there. Um, setup posture is pretty good. Don't go any lower. Okay, and those arms are at a maximum amount of being under your body. Okay, but everything's good here. I, I think as a whole, everything's good. This tilt actually doesn't look too bad in the position you're at here. Okay, nine degrees of tilt. Now what I want it doing is just being maintained, right? So I want I want things feeling like they turn right around your spine and neck better. And we're going to get that by getting you to feel like you swing your arms a little bit more and feeling like you're not using your body quite as much. Okay. But you can see, right? You know, there, remember, this is first look. So right out of shoot, this is better for you. Okay. So what's going to happen when we're doing this drill of hinge action? You're going to see this club lags. It's going to lag better in some of these videos we're going to see. And that's what I. This is what I struggle with. You can see how this is. Boom. There's impact. Now. No change of motion in the hinges, the swivel, the wrist action. It's just like you have rotated your body and you're still in that position. It's like a long chip. Mm -hmm. Still a long chip, right? The only thing moving is, the, is, is a turning body. There hasn't been any separation of the hinges, okay? So, ballistically, physics are lost, right? They, they're just they're, they're trying to get out. But you're still not letting it out. Okay, you you will see that that club doesn't do its swiveling in the hinge until back in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's because it's because it's got to get out at some point. Let's get it out. Let's get that out down in here. Okay. The view will be so different in this way. Okay. So. But I just I just love the left arm. Okay, we really like that shaft to be right there. Okay. That's how I mean. You got to remember how much you you were over there. It's a tad bit on the closed side. Got to keep an eye on that for you. Okay. I don't see your grip being quite that strong. I'm talking about the snap hook once in a while with the driver. We got to check it out. Okay. Down into a pretty good slot here. The delivery line's real good. The right forearm's under the left. I mean, th th these are massive adjustments that you've made and been able to do. Now, we just gotta let the let the water out of the mop. Yeah. And sling it out, okay? Holding it off there too much, and in time, you're just gonna throw more rotational effort. I don't know how long your back can handle that. So, when you look at this look, and then you look at this look. Watch this hinge action. A little crowded. Just be careful. By the way, yeah, that's before just, you had me back up a little bit off. The yeah, just I, I just you know, and I do need to say these hands are going back so different for you. There's your packing in the stored. See how I can't see your elbow? Mm-hmm. Okay, because the swivel and hinge action is taking place. The position of the club face is, ra is radically different. Elbow is down. So what's happening is you're getting this angle. So from a front view, that's radically different. But I just want to show you that from the back view. See the elbow is doing this. Right. This elbow. Well, I mean, you can't really see this. Yeah, it's, pull, yeah, it's, it's being pulled pull. by the body more than it is. Yeah, or it's contributing to the pull. You know, you're pulling your shoulders. It just depends where, you know, if you're stronger in this region, that's mm -hmm. what you're doing. It's pulling it around where, where you gotta, you got to learn the power of that hinge motion, okay? And that hinge motion power looks like this. Very different stuff. So when you can hinge it, 
store. See, the lag is so different. Yeah. See, the lag is just night and day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the speed of this club head here is still under acceleration of the hinges. This club is not accelerating anymore. It's just under the turning body. What brought that club from here to here was just a spinning body. Yep. Great for short game stuff, straight arm wedge. But not good when we're trying to get ballistics and launch and maximum club head speed. Okay, so when you do this drill, I would do it in two phases. Eight iron, nine iron wedge, short T. You want to feel like you're just creating an L and you want to be very mindful of your arms wrist action and hand motions and right here it should feel like they just momentum wise <laughs> physics wise that club head just takes over there's a little cuppy here mm -hmm. look at that okay because from right there it should be more swivel okay yeah. remember this is the swivel mm -hmm. it's never this lob shots around the green keeping the club face open okay but not in your full swing so the power of allowing that club head to surpass the hands feels like, you know, David Ledbetter shows a, a big match, a strike anywhere matchstick, and he comes through and strikes that match on that ground. That's what you're trying to do. See right here, you're just kind of dragging the match along over on the left. So, this is some serious club head speed that's available to you. I think it's going to be less effortful. Uh -huh. And, and again, I always like you finishing more out there versus, you can almost see your arms. See, your arms are still slinging. Yeah. <laughs> you can almost see how they, they compromise your balance. It's like, mm. right. Now, there shouldn't be any speed back there. It should be all gone. Right. right. Your speed should be empty. <laughs> right? There's, okay. The speed is, there's still, the, the water's, in that mop. All right, let's take a good look here. So these ones right here were really good. So when you do this drill, do it at a normal stance, short speeds. When you want to maximize this drill, do it with your feet together. I think it's probably a wonderful drill to do off the tees. Now, by the way, look at where your head is on this ball. Back behind it. Love this. Love this. See, now things are starting to line up with the master swing arm, the left arm. Yep. See, I think this is why you feel arching, even though you're not. It's probably... <laughs> okay, no. Now... I should see the side of that foot. Oh, no. the, okay, the side of it, uh-huh. I shouldn't see your laces. Right. Uh, let's see. Find one here that I like here. This would be good. See the hinge motion? That's what you and I are talking about here. Yep. But see that foot? It's very weightless. In fact, it's probably sliding. It yeah. is sliding, yeah. This foot's creased. So really post up over there. Now he's going through a full swing, but I want that left foot looking more around there like that. Keep bringing that knee in. They squeeze together. It's just going to be a very tight, handsy feel. <laughs> right? Yep.
pretty fast, huh? For a swing that doesn't, yeah, very. you know, it's because the speed is different. You're just not used to seeing this kind of speed generation. That's way better. See the difference? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. This is called hinge motions. If if you were a machine, if you were a robot, you would have, and you were going to be playing golf, these are clamps that hold a club. Your wrists are types of hinges. Your elbows are a type of hinge slash swivel. Ball and socket up here in the shoulders, right? They're just different type of apparatuses so, so that the right arm can fold, the left arm can stay straight, the wrist hinge action can cock. Put it under motion, it's got to work under the time of rhythm and tempo, okay? The weight of this club centrifugally is trying to sling out. You're not trying to do it, allow science to do it. You should be just trying to swing this mechanism, the arms and turn the body, okay? The wrists are under the influence of this centrifugal throwout. Your job is to monitor the rhythm of it. Shoom. And then you allow the overtaking of that, and the hinges have to fold and allow it. Otherwise, they lock and void it out, and then you're going to just turn your body harder and harder. Okay. That is where you should be finishing your golf stroke. All right. Not behind you. Still springing around back there, right? Those where should be done. That's where I want you finishing that full swing. Um... Let's take a look here. This is I'm not so sure where he finishes. Or where I'd like him to finish is just like that. This is Sean O'Hare, so he's gonna work on massive turning of the body. Okay, this is while he was still working with Foley. But he's got yeah. still a little bit of break here, okay? You're yep. seeing him now go into this stuff. You know, almost like a Bob Tway here. See the hinge. See, you can see the roll action take place, right? Look at look at the hands. Yep. So that that's actually a good look to it here. Uh, based on, I think I got the ones I want to see. This is good. On the Rossum. They rough snagged her hair a little bit, slowed her down, but you can see the, the re-hinging, right? Yep. Just, just very, very, very different. Uh, all right, so let's...